Welcome back. We just learned about modules, but let's say our project is getting even bigger. We have this main file, we have some utility, but let's say that we're now working for Microsoft and we have a new, let's say, shopping functionality, an entire, let's say, shopping area where you can buy Microsoft t-shirts. Well, we can now create a folder so we can add folders to our project. And inside of this folder, let's say we have a new file and we'll call this the shopping cart.py. So now this shopping cart.py is a folder in our project. You see that our project is getting bigger and bigger. And let's say that here we just have a function called buy and we give it an item. And let's say here we, we have a cart variable that let's say adds. It's not a very sophisticated buying system, but for our example, it should be fine. And then we just return the cart. Now in here, we have this buy function. And let's say in our main file, so up here, we wanna also import our shopping cart buy function. How can we do that? Well, if we try to do shopping cart like this, remember that's the name of our file. You see that I get an underline that says imported but unused. Okay, so does that mean I can use it? Let's see. I'm going to say shopping cart, and if I click run, module not found error, no module named shopping cart. You see, what we've created here is what we call a package. A package is simply a folder. And we learned about module, which is these files, these Python files. A package is a level up. A package is a folder containing modules. So you can have a package with multiple modules inside of them. So this shopping cart is a module, but this shopping is a package. So the way it works when we import from a package is we say the package name. So what's the package name? It's shopping. And then we do a dot. So dot shopping cart. So package name and then the module name. Now, if we do this, let's see if this works. Let's say I do shopping dot shopping cart now. If I print this, let's make this a little bit smaller. All right. Now I have access to the shopping cart module by importing the package shopping, which is the folder, and then the shopping cart. And you notice once again, we have a pie cache that was created for the shopping cart. So let's see if we can use the buy function. So I'm going to say buy and then item, I'll say I'm buying just an apple. If I click run, there you go. I get my apple list and I was able to import it from a package. Now, here's the thing. I wanna try and copy what we've just done into a real life scenario. Instead of using this website, repl.it, let's actually create our own project. I'm going to use PyCharm and I recommend you use PyCharm as well, just for these next couple of videos. Let's open up PyCharm and let's just create a new project here. Now we can call it whatever we want. So let's just call it modules for now for our project. You can see where it's being saved. And remember here, we get to pick what interpreter we want. We're gonna talk about this virtual env later on in the videos, but the key thing is to make sure that our base interpreter is using Python 3. In my case, the Python 3 that we've downloaded in user local bin, if you're on a Mac or Linux, if you're on Windows, this path will probably be different. Now we can just create a project And we see here we have our modules project. 
Now, we're going to ignore all these folders for now. We're going to talk about them later on. The key here is that we want to create a new file. I'm going to just right click here and say new Python file. And we can just call it, let's say, main.py. And notice here that I created in a folder called venv. We'll get back to that shortly. Now let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see. And we're going to copy whatever we've just done here. So I'm going to copy the main file like this. Oh, that did not copy. Let's try that again. Like that. And then we're also going to create a few more files. So we'll create a folder. So in here, I'm just going to say right click, say new. And right away, you see that it says Python package. I'm going to click on Python package, or I can create a directory if I want as well. And when I click here, let's name the package like we've done here as shopping. All right, we get our shopping folder. And in here, let's right click, say new, new file, and we'll, we'll call this the shoppingcart.py. So shopping cart.py. And then finally, we'll add our utility file. I know we're doing a lot, but hey, I'm trying to prove a point here. Trust me, this is going to be important. So utility.py. There we go. So we have the same setup that we have here. Let me copy this over as well. All right. And we copy. Let's make this bigger like that. All right. So we have our files just like we have in our REPL, except this time we're actually using an IDE. Now, the reason I wanted to transfer over to the IDE is that there's an extra file here that we didn't see in the REPL. And the REPL actually hides this away from us. You see this underscore init.py file? And it's completely empty. There's nothing in here. One of the rules of a package, of a Python package, is that on the root of this package, you have to have an underscore, underscore init, underscore, underscore dot pi. Now, why is that? Well, because the interpreter is going to read this and say, oh, this is a Python package. Remember how when I right clicked here, I said new, and then I had an option of a directory or a Python package? By clicking Python package, it automatically added this init for us. So although here everything worked without a init, this is just something that REPL hides underneath the hood. Anytime you want to create a package, you'll see that we need to have an init file. And it can just be completely empty. Now, the beauty here with PyCharm is that it does it for you, which is really, really nice. Okay, so let's run this code and make sure that it still works. So this is our main.py. I can simply run the code here by going to run and then selecting run. Let's run our main file. Oop, and we get an error. Let's zoom in here. And we see that module shopping.shoppingcart has no attribute by. And that is because we did not import the by function here. So let's do that. Let's go to shopping cart by. Make sure I copy that. Paste it in. Let's zoom that in. And by the way, I'm zooming here on my touchpad. I can just use two fingers to zoom in here. If I click run again, and this time once you ran it once, you can just click on run again. And there we have it. We have Apple right here as the output. And it says process finished with exit code zero. In programming, when something exits with code zero, it means there were no errors. If you get one, well, that's usually an error. All right, so we have everything working. And this is now our setup. We have our main file. We have our other modules like utility. And then we also have our packages. And they're packages because they have this init file. And we have different modules in them. And as 
projects get bigger and bigger and we use IDEs like PyCharm, we organize our functionality, our grouping into these packages and modules. And really, really good developers are able to organize code in really nice packages that make sense, really nice modules that make sense. This is a skill that is really hard to teach. It just comes with practice by looking at other people's projects, by working on projects. But the key thing is that you want to do what makes sense. And when we start working on some of our final projects, we have over 10 projects coming up that we're going to work on. Now, with those ones, you're going to start to learn different ways to organize code as you follow along. So don't worry. Let's take a break and explore modules a little bit more in the next video.